Exactly. And on the show today, we're going to be talking to our uh, two lovely ladies mm -hmm. on the show. You might recognize, you know, one of them. And uh, we will actually be touching on the topic, which I have always, always tell people that these two need to interconnect. And finally, arts and sciences going to combine. And, you know, what program and what possibly money is some program that they can win? Right. Uh, it's always been this uh, sort of discussion that cognitively it's different. Mm -hmm. Science and arts, they just don't mix. You know, you put people in different streams as early as Form 4. Yeah. Uh, and you separate the, the two. Basically, you're trying to get them down different career paths. But where do the two converge? We're going to have that discussion with our guests in the studio. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a little bit about the montage itself. Like, this is what I feel a lot of people do not notice. That there are a lot of sciences and a lot of art that goes into <laughs> even a sim something as simple as you know this set um the, you know, the music video this the make of this table everything is art and science related mm, but because you know yeah I, because this is seriously what i always tell people is that when you combine these two you can great you can make great magic and um it is so sad that as like you said you know by the age of 16 we are segregated into the sciences we are segregated into the businesses uh we are segregated into the art stream mm -hmm. and I will admit, when I was 16, when I was 15, the minute I got my PMR, I was like, please let me get into the science stream because in my head, and I was, I feel like I was conditioned to think that way, that mm -hmm. if I didn't get into sciences, I wouldn't be as successful. And then when Correct. I'm in the sciences, I realized I still have so much love for the art. So <sighs> why can't we combine these two? I was one of those people that got into the sciences yeah. and opted to jump into the arts. Oh. So it was a kind of a decision I made back then. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of kids today are struggling with it when perhaps they don't need to. Let's yep. talk to our two guests about it. Uh, the Art Science Initiative is what we're talking about. We have Professor Emeritus uh, Dato Dr. Mazlan Osman, who's on the task force, uh, and she's a task force member of the Academy of Sciences Malaysia. And we have Wan Zaleha Razi, who's also a task force member. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for joining us in your Raya Get Up. Yes. Selamat Hari Raya. Hello, Raya. Uh, Hari Gawai. Yeah. Thank you for inviting us, Terence. You're most welcome. Zoe. You're most welcome. Thank you for being here. So, we started off the show by talking about how these two elements are supposedly cognitively different. And uh, they impact people differently. And different people are in have different inclinations towards these two genres. Uh, is that true? Is that true for everyone? And uh, how do we tell people otherwise? Well, you know, it's strange that you said you wanted to do the arts and you were streamed... I was streamed for science. Science. Yes, yes a similar thing happened to me mm -hmm. uh, when we were asked after Form 3 what mm. we wanted to do. I clearly state, stated that I wanted to do English literature and art. Right, yeah. But mm. the teachers streamed me into pure science. Right. And that's why I'm today an astrophysicist instead of an artist. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you look at you know, what people's perception of the mm -hmm. arts and of the sciences, um, like you say, they, they see them on two opposing poles. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, the sciences are precise, rational, objective, whereas the, sci the arts are, you know, more... Creative. Uh, crea no, not just... Well, the sciences are also creative, mm -hmm. yeah? but it's more uh, emotional. Um, you don't more have to... Abstract, be, uh, uh, abstract. You know, there's no exact and, definition, you know, yeah. They say you can take an artistic license on something mm -hmm. for the very reason you can go beyond the, the re reality. So they see it as two opposing parts of the spectrum. But of course, as you know, there are all, this, all these things in between. Mm -hmm. And in this era of interdisciplinarity, multidisciplinarity, transdisciplinarity, this, two di this dichotomy should no longer exist. Mm -hmm. And this is where the Academy of Sciences Malaysia, which is running this initiative, um, wants to see the convergence of the two. Because we believe that uh, at that interface mm -hmm. is where most of the creativity and the innovation will occur. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. And we want to uh, put bring together those people who are still hiding in their closets, especially those scientists who mm. are secretly artists, to bring them out. And we have this uh, initiative. Right. right. So uh, can you share with us a little bit about the initiative? Because as you're talking, you know... Oh, yeah. Um, there is the... Um, the video. This was uh, part of the launching, which mm -hmm. uh, was done on the 4th of December by the Ministry, um, at that time was MESTEC, Ministry of Energy, Science, Technology, Environment and Climate Change, but mm -hmm. today is MOSTI. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, 
so you see that is uh, some examples yes. of art. And then you can see the examples of uh, that convergence of the arts and signs. Right. Uh, very fast, but you you could have seen something. I think we're going to roll that again. They're going to roll that so again. Okay, it's going to look a that, clearer that's, look at that. It's good. Yeah. Dichotomy but there, it could together. be music. It could mm -hmm. be installations. It mm -hmm. could be visual arts. It could mm -hmm. be performing arts, mm -hmm. uh, digital media, mm -hmm. anything at all. Yeah. When you think about, um, so I think my, I would say my generation. Um, so I watch a lot of Big Bang Theory because mm -hmm. we're talking about science and we're talking about yes. arts. And um, one of the actress named Maya Bialik, she is actually a neuroscientist. Yes, she's right. an actual scientist, you know, right. playing a scientist. Right. Yeah. Um, but she's also very much involved in the arts, and she managed to. Uh, so that's my biggest example, you know, of somebody who is both uh, a, a scientist but is also an artist at the same yeah. time. Um, I've also been very blessed, which uh, I've been to a. Um, an art exhibition that involved a lot of sciences mm. uh, in Japan as well. Mm -hmm. So, do you force? Where do you foresee this initiative um, uh, uh, um, a year or, or you know two three years down the road? Especially with CMCO, and I think information gets very clouded now. Yeah. So I, I don't think uh, you know we're going to get all these big uh, events where hundreds mm -hmm. of people are going to gather. Right. Uh, surely not. But you can see that more and more art galleries are going online. Mm. But as you know, the Smithsonian um, museums they have for the longest time been digitizing mm -hmm. all their images, and you can actually uh, get them free yes. online, millions of them. And the idea is to um, to promote those arts. And if you go to some of the museums um, or art galleries, they clearly say that please take a photo, because mm -hmm. they want they want to use you to use your social media to right. promote them. So I, it'd be the same for for our um, well our initiative mm -hmm. where eventually where we will have a competition, mm -hmm. and so you know it's uh, not it's nice to say we want to encourage people to go into the arts and the science to converge, but we thought that one way of um, making sure people come out and get excited is to have a prize, and that's why we have an art science prize. Right. right. Wow. Can you tell us a little bit more about, uh, first and foremost, your involvement in this? Because uh, you're from a completely different background. I'm uh, from... Uh, you're well, from you, this world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're, you're from yeah. our world. Uh, so tell us how you got involved and, and then proceed to talk about the competition. I about think that uh, the last few years I've been um, indulging in my curiosity mm -hmm. and that journey's led me to Indonesia. And that's when I first came across this... Uh, this uh, 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 of, of uh, this intersection of culture, art, science, and technology. Mm -hmm. And I found it very, very exciting, new, and uh, I felt the stirrings of this is going to matter. Mm. Um, and so uh, I, my journey started and is still uh, in Indonesia, and uh, I started in Yogyakarta. And I found that at um, this intersection or collision or convergence, that's where innovation happens. Mm. And where we're talking about our school system where we're either, you know, arts or science, uh, thankfully that's changing now, I believe. And um, so why, why converge? Why are we doing this? Mm -hmm. It's to send a message out that um, with all the problems, all the challenges that we're facing as a nation, that the world is facing, with the uh, climate crisis mm -hmm. and the income disparity, um, we need innovation. Mm -hmm. And so it is at these intersections that we find uh, where innovation occur, uh, innovations occur to help solve some of these challenges. And they're complex challenges. Mm -hmm. So where I come from and, and, and why I'm really excited about this, this initiative is that this convergence would encourage um, this multidisciplinary way of thinking and therefore more creative ways of, of problem solving and the uh, mm -hmm. complex problem solving. Right. So, you know. Can you tell us a bit more about the logo that you have? Oh, the, the logo, event? yes. I, we it, could have it, glimpsed yes. it just now. It's right. a, it's, um, it, yeah. The shape is of a nautilus shell mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, I think the, the shape is inspired because of uh, something called the uh, Fibonacci uh, sequence uh -huh. or pattern. Okay, who's Fibonacci? Mm -hmm. He's a, a, a mathematician, a famous yes. mathematician from the Middle Ages, and he uh, laid the foundation work uh, to uh, for uh, modern mathematics mm -hmm. to understand certain shapes in nature. Mm -hmm. And so it's like a logarithmic spiral, and you find them in this 
gorgeous, beautiful, and mesmerized every time I see the picture of the Nautilus shell. Mm -hmm. And um, so the uh, mathematicians understand these shapes through this, this uh, Fibonacci sequence. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and, yeah, no and yeah. also, also the, uh, the spiral in the galaxies, right? That's yeah. also. So, uh, so these uh, Nautilus shell was the inspiration for the logo. It's so yellow, right. it's uh, joyful. Uh, You've learned something so you new have, today. Yeah, you have a little bit of the, because you talked a little bit about the mathematics of it and right. how, you know, I, I guess in my head how it's, it's shaped, you know, um, and also the um, related, related it back to a little bit of the galaxy and how it looks, right? Um, I was just watching, I think, uh, Space Force, mm -hmm. uh, this new show on Netflix. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I, I, don't I know, think you're not going to like it. <laughs> you're not going to like it, but I like shows like that because it challenges me to think a little bit um, and it, it got, got me back to, you know, like I said, I love sciences. I took sciences when I was young. If I had pu been pushed a little bit more, I think, you know, to really appreciate it, I would definitely, you know, go into the aeronautical side of it. But oh, anyways, wow. we're going to come back to it and uh, maybe talk a little bit about the program that you guys have because you talked that there was a prize money, I Yes, there's prize mm -hmm. money. But, you know, you were talking about the mathematics of it, mm -hmm. but I just wanted to illustrate another, illustrate it with another name, mm -hmm. Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, wow. Ah. You know, this is the epitome of, of art, art science. science. You know, he's famous as an artist, but if you look at his body of works, a science. lot yeah. of it is about science. Right. So this is what we're trying to uh, recover and rejuvenate mm -hmm. in, in people's minds. Okay, so coming back to the initiative, um, we have the, uh, like what we are doing now, we are engaging you, we are engaging the public to give an awareness of art science. Mm -hmm. um, uh, once I will talk about the engagement, but the prize itself, it has, it was launched on the 4th of December mm -hmm. uh, on that uh, last year, and the closing date is 30th of June, which okay. is, uh, which is uh, a month away. A month away. <laughs> a month away. So I hope the people who, who ha are watching this, just go to the Academy of Sciences website and mm -hmm. you can look up uh, the Art Science Prize. Mm -hmm. So what do they have to do to join though? All they have to do is uh, tell us what, how you see these two converge. Uh -huh. And so you come up with a proposal. It could be in any medium. It mm -hmm. could be, as I said before, digital media, um, uh, visual arts, installations, performing arts, uh, teaching, somehow you incorporate the teaching in it, uh, writing. Mm -hmm. So we are open to uh, just about anything right now because we have not clearly defined what is art science. People will say, okay, okay, so what's, can you define art science? So the whole idea here is to go beyond definitions. Mm -hmm. Definition is something the scientists like. We will not do that. Mm -hmm. We want people to define it within their, um, within their soul, within their yep. um, intellectual this makeup. This is your what English literature coming out here. Is, that's <laughs> right. So, and you know, um, for me being an astrophysicist, mm -hmm. um, you cannot uh, um, separate the the arts and the Besides, astrophysics yeah. because the cre God's cre creations are just beyond the mm -hmm. artist's imaginations. Right. So mm -hmm. it's so clear, you know, that when you're looking at the universe, you're looking at the uh, aesthetics. I love the mm -hmm. way you've explained it. I think I think it's very clear and coming from a scientific background to define something artistic, I think mm -hmm. you're the best person to do it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I haven't heard it that so eloquently yeah. in a while. Uh, tell us about the prize though. The, there'll be a prize money. We haven't quite uh, ascertained mm -hmm. how much, but it will be at least 20000 Wow. Think. So there'll be a first prize, a second prize, mm -hmm. and a third prize. But the nice thing about these prizes for the artists or the scientists is actually that um, we, they will have residences mm -hmm. or residencies mm -hmm. uh, in um, some institutions wow. internationally or even locally. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where for a few months you can go and develop mm -hmm. uh, more of that. Uh, convergence of the arts and mm -hmm. science. Okay. So, so I guess moving forward, it's time to talk about how you're going to engage, engage with the society yes. out there at large, and that falls to you. Uh, um, that, yeah. how, how are we doing this? Well, the engagement programs we have, of course, uh, we're here on your talk show, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, also, we are we'll be having dialogues, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, uh, moderated one-on-one -on -one discussions mm -hmm. with. Uh, uh, people who are in, in, in this uh, space mm -hmm. and also we'll be having our panel discussions and of course the social media engagement and uh, hopefully we'll be uh, featuring uh, 
different uh, ideas of what 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 is art science? What what mm. kind of projects? Mm -hmm. What kind of art signs are you talking about? Uh, so we have artists here in Malaysia who are working with bacteria, for mm -hmm. instance, as the medium mm -hmm. for art and with electronics. Uh, so using a different, bi it's called bio art. So, mm -hmm. um, and it's also another point I'd, I'd like to say to you, it's not too late. There's mm -hmm. a movement of citizen scientists. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, what uh, I advocate also is this uh, democratization of tools of production okay. where it's the makers movement, uh, where you have access, we all have access mm -hmm. to industrial grade tools. Mm -hmm. We can be citizen scientists, we can tinker oh, wow. with mm. DNA. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow, tinker oh, with DNA. Yeah. How yeah, do yeah. you apply to be a citizen scientist? Is you, a don't, you don't know, you just, you just do it. Just do yeah. it. Go in, the communities everywhere, mm -hmm. join mm. one. There's uh, communities in Malaysia as well, and mm -hmm. just start there. And uh, right. this network is amazing. You will just lead to where you want to go. I'm Can excited. I say a little bit more about citizen scientists? Yes. Because there are citizens sure. out there. Because uh, if you go to citizen science, you will go on, the, on Google, of course. Mm -hmm. You will go to set. You can you can be led to certain websites mm -hmm. that actually encourage you to do data analysis. Mm. There are lots of things in biology, astronomy especially. Mm -hmm. We want people to identify planets. We want people to identify galaxies. And mm -hmm. actually, they're making real contributions to science. Mm -hmm. It's not just about fun because uh, of course. Scientists can't do all the analysis because there's too much data right. out there. Yeah. So you could be a, a citizen scientist and contribute uh, meaningfully to actual scientific discovery. It That's the good wow. news. With seven billion yeah, people on yes, the planet, yes. I think right, the right. time is ripe yes, for us to be yeah. contributing meaningfully to data collection. Yes, I know, right? I'm actually super excited. The minute you're like, oh, I can join. Yes, that yes, makes that's it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Zoe's a scientist. Yeah, yeah Zoe's a scientist, Aaron's guys. A scientist. It's fine. Everybody's a scientist. Yeah, yeah, the tools. The tools are yeah. so yes. uh, accessible mm. and uh, affordable. Now, so if let's say uh, to measure pollution, for instance, right. there's yes. DIY communities where mm -hmm. using uh, very affordable sensors, you can make your own uh, pollution sensor and you can detect noise pollution, air pollution, uh, water pollution, mm -hmm. and you upload your results to be shared. It's open source, everyone's sharing all their data, and mm -hmm. so it's a very, uh, it's the mood is like citizen participation, so power right. to the people, mm -hmm. and we can uh, ha have access, it's open, open yep. innovation, so when you spread it out, we're going to have hopefully uh, more innovation, more ideas, more ways to collaborate, and collaborate is, collaboration is really important as we, you know, uh, face the challenges mm -hmm. we're facing today, so... Unfortunately, yeah, we're at the tail end of the discussion, yeah. so we'd just like to uh, get you guys shout out to the viewers out there. Uh, tell them how they can join, be a part of uh, not just this initiative, but all the other initiatives under the ASM. Shall I go first? Please. Yeah, yeah. So we want people to come in and apply mm. for this um, this prize, mm -hmm. um, just go to our website, the Academy of Sciences Malaysia website, and go to the Art Science button, and mm -hmm. you'll find everything you need to mm -hmm. know about the Art Science Prize. So please come in and uh, share with us your ideas. Don't worry whether you, some people say, oh, does this qualify? <laughs> Forget about and it. You've got just a lot of time on your put hands. It there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> put it in there, and we'll decide, you know. Um, exactly. Later. You know, um, slash art science. Yes, that's it. That's <laughs> the place for you guys to go right now if you guys want to win yeah. some cash prize. Let out your inner, inner mad scientist, yeah. inner, inner artist, artist, inner artist, you know, whatever yeah. that you No idea is silly. That's right. right? No. That's the most important thing yes. we want to encourage. No idea is right. silly. Um, come on, guys. Edison, what? He had 99 inventions, if I'm not mistaken. 99 uh, inventions gone wrong. Gone wrong. In order to make one. <laughs> one yes. right. So, 100 tries later. Yeah. All right. So, thank you again to both of our guests for being on the show. Again, thank you don't for forget having to us. check out Most welcome. Thank you, Art Science Initiative.